Hi friends, welcome back to the channel SciTechal. In this video, I'm going to uh, review the Realme GT Neo 2 device after using close to 25 days of usage. Yes, when it's been 25 days of using the Realme GT Neo 2, uh, continuously I was using this phone in all my reviews. And just yesterday only I did do the battery rating test on the Realme GT Neo 2 while playing the new state. Yes, PUBG new state as you can see. So check out the playlist friends, try to click on the playlist and first video will be on the epic battery rating test comparison using the PUBG new state. You'll be able to know about the battery rating details as well. So. In this 25 days of usage, I'll try to explain each and every point about the Realme GT Neo 2. What is better and what could be better in this device. So these are the points like uh, performance, display, battery charging, camera, connectivity, build quality and updates. What are the things I really satisfied with this phone and what could be better. These are the things which I'll try to explain in this video. So first let's talk about the performance wise the performance of this realme gt neo 2 which has got about snapdragon 870 chipset so which is quite powerful and which i'm i'm using for the past i think six to seven months of usage with the iq7 and me 11x device so i do have experience with the snapdragon 870 chipset overall in the performance wise and everything but in this phone i was able to get really good solid performance similar like the iq7 device yes very close to iq7 device but the only one thing is that the temperature is only increasing in this device a little bit a little bit more than the iq7 device so the main reason why I'm comparing every time with the iQ7 is because of its uh, performance which has got a really good advantage in the iQ7 device. That's what most of the people they want to know. Whether this phone performance can come close to this iQ7 or not. So this has become some kind of standard comparison every time when I talk about the performance segment. So I think in the performance segment it can come uh, close to the iQ7 device no doubt. But only thing is that the temperatures will be slightly higher in the Realme GT Neo 2 when compared with the iQ7 device. Doesn't matter what kind of task I do, maybe if I try to play the games, little bit, one degree more will be there in this door, at least one degree. I, I'm not saying like five to six degrees difference will be there. There will be close to one to two degrees difference will be there. That's it, very minute difference. So apart from that, there is no issues with the performance throttling, nothing, no problem at all. As you can see, with the CPU throttling, no issues with the triple throttling at all. As I'm trying to show you the couple of graphs which are taken using this, uh, during this usage. Every time it was able to maintain above 90% of the CPU throttling. As you can see, it was 90% above. That's very, very solid score every time. If the phone maintains 90% right now, with a couple of updates and after a few months of usage, then definitely, then we can say, it can come close to 85 and 90 percentage so always you need to aim for the highest because after software updates what happens is that the performance and the battery life they will decrease so you need to always aim for the high that's the main reason why i'm trying to focus on this uh, benchmarks most of the time because if you get right now close to 90 percentage remember after a few months it will be decreasing same thing i did see with the previous phones as well so performance segment, uh, no doubt, uh, no issues. Apart from one thing, which is a uh, high refresh rate games at this moment are not supported in the Realme GT Neo 2, high refresh rate game. I mean 90 FPS, 120 Hz, uh, 120 FPS gameplay. So you cannot play in this device until the Realme fix with the Realme UI. There's no problem with the hardware. Hardware, there's no issues. There's some kind of problem with the software. So it can be fixed, but we're not sure exactly when that problem will get fixed. That's another uh, point. Next thing is about the display. The display of the Realme GT Neo 2 has come with a 120 hertz uh, refresh rate Samsung, I think E4 AMOLED panel which is used in the Realme GT Neo 2. That's also fantastic. And the company they did claim that phone has got a 600 start sampling rate. In my testing, I was unable to get the 600 hertz. I was able to get only 300 start sampling rate. And we do have the video image uh, sharpener, video color enhancer, and a lot of uh, different different options you do have at this moment in the Realme GT Neo 2, no problem. But overall the video seems to be kind of okay. And there are a couple of things you should remember that uh, you'll be getting this kind of rainbow effect when you're trying to watch from side angles, side angles of the phone, some kind of color shifting will be happening. That's another thing. Sometimes some people they did complain that about the yellowish kind of color. Maybe if you try to set the screen temperature, you will be feeling a little bit kind of cool, but some users they didn't even mention even in the cool as well they were able to get slightly uh, yellowish kind of color so make sure to change to the option to the cool in case if you don't want to have that kind of option there's also plenty of other options are available to change the color colors as well brilliant vivid and gentle no problem as you can see friends the display also looks fantastic in terms of the colors and everything but only thing is the only small problem which is a black color crush issue sometimes it happens not only in all the phones only in the few phones a little bit kind of crush you will be able to see it but overall apart from that there is not much a major problem but it also depends upon the type of user to user some people they they are okay some people they are not okay the people who are not okay they'll definitely apply for the replacement unit so that's another thing about the display part 
So next thing is about the battery and the charging. How is the battery backup in this phone? So battery backup was kind of okay, I would say, friends. It, I did expect slightly kind of very much huge uh, improvement when compared with the other 4,500 mAh of battery capacities. But, and if you try to play the games, you cannot get that much kind of battery backup. But if you try to use the phone as normal, I mean texting and Gmail and WhatsApping, watching videos, this kind of activity is no issues. Yes, this kind of activity is no problem with the battery life. But only thing is the while gaming, this battery life will definitely drain faster. As a proof, I did upload two videos. Try to click on this uh, playlist of the Realme GT Neo 2. Try to watch the PUBG uh, New State video because this phone was able to survive 20 minutes more than the IQ sound device. Yes, 20 minutes more than. Not a huge difference, I would say, this 20 minutes. So you can definitely understand the battery, battery backup seems to be slightly kind of less. Maybe because of the software updates also, that can be another reason. But charging speed was kind of good. The phone takes kind of close to uh, exactly 33 minutes and 34 minutes to charge completely and the percentage no issues with the charging speed in this Realme GT Neo 2, not at all a problem. So only the battery backup could have been slightly kind of better, little bit, little bit kind of better, but still 5000 mAh we get, as I said, only gaming only the problem is, is there. While using normal usage, you'll definitely be able to reach 8 hours of screen on time without any kind of problems in this device. As you can see right now I did reach 8 hours, so without gaming. Next thing is about the camera. Camera is the one which I am like totally very very much disappointed in this phone. It's not at all good. I mean, I can say maybe out of 5 you ask me what kind of rating I would give. Maybe 3 star I would give for this device. Yes, 3, three star. That is kind of more than enough for this device because the camera is the one which uh, I am really very much disappointed in this phone. It doesn't feel like you are using 27,000 rupees or 30,000 rupees mobile phone. Not even close to that. So it's kind of close to 15,000 rupees mobile phone quality. Exactly. They need to change. The Realme need to change the camera quality in how the camera should be processing because same price the iQOO 7 offers far better camera. Yes, very much better. Very much stabilization, very good low light photography, lot better in this device. So this phone has got two advantages, performance and camera. Yes, iQOO 7 device. Two advantages, only two. So rest, it depends upon the user, but this phone, the camera is another uh, biggest disadvantage in this device. It's kind of okay. I'm not saying completely worst. It's kind of okay, but you cannot expect the quality as uh, compared with other iQOO 7 and OnePlus Nord 2 camera quality features. So next thing is about the connectivity. Connectivity wise, no issues friends. The phone was able to connect to Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz, high transfer link speed, 5 gigahertz, high transfer links, no issues, and more 5G bands and 4G plus connection really good. So. As I said, iQOO 7 has got performance and camera strong points. This phone has got strong points like connectivity, strong points, fast charging, strong point. And even the, I think even the app build quality is also really good in this device because build quality has got really good uh, aptic feedback motor, which is very good aptic feedback. I did like aptic feedback in this device. Wow. It feels really good use typing in this device. Fantastic. And Apart from that, dual speaker setup is also present and there's physical proximity sensor that's also a fantastic option in this device. No issues. And in display fingerprint scanner also working amazingly fine. As you can see, no issues with the in display fingerprint scanner. So overall, I'm really happy with the uh, build quality, except not having 3.5mm jack. They could have included, but that's another thing. So next, regarding the software updates, also will be guaranteed, I think, uh, two years of annual updates and very soon we'll be receiving the realme ui 3.0 as well right now we are running only realme ui 2.0 so maybe in the november or december we should be able to see update coming rolling out so that's it friends is a complete review about the realme gt neo 2 so what is better in this phone is charging speed and connectivity these two things will not disappoint you so performance is also really good the snapdragon 870 no issues even the display and the camera these two things are slightly kind of a little bit Drawback and display is also kind of okay, I would say, but camera is no, it's a kind of terrible. So, camera is the biggest flaw in this device. Every phone has its own advantage and disadvantage, no doubt. I cannot say like this phone is completely perfect, I cannot say this phone is not perfect. Every phone has its own advantage and disadvantage. I know it, you know it, everyone knows that, but it up, up to the user to decide whether he's ready to face that disadvantage or not. If you are a photography and the camera kind of person, definitely you'll you'll be disappointed. So it's up to you to decide, friends. Not everyone will be buying the phone to take cameras. Few people will be buying. So for them, this phone may not be an option. If you're looking for the performance and all-round package, all-round little bit camera, 
then maybe this phone can be the perfect because more 5G bands, better connectivity, Wi-Fi, strong connectivity. That's what I did like and really good fast charging and 5000 mAh battery capacity. Gaming a little bit kind of disappointed, but normal usage, you can get 8 to, eight to 9 hours of screen on time. So that's also fantastic. Performance also solid. So except camera, this phone is really good. That's it friends. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates. In case if you have any queries, let me know in the comment section below. Meanwhile, signing off and bye.